Welcome back to another episode of Local Search Tuesdays. This week's episode is a fun one, and one you've all been waiting for. NADA Mean Tweets. I started the NADA Mean Tweet bit 10 years ago, but this was only the ninth year doing it since COVID made us skip a year of live events. For those of you who are watching this for the first time, it's basically based on Jimmy Kimmel's bit where celebrities read mean tweets from random people. And it's always one of our most popular episodes every year. Thanks to being super busy at our booth this year, I didn't get to make the rounds on the expo floor to get these recorded. So I had to connect with a few people over Zoom to have enough for a full episode. I had way too many fun ones this year not to use more of them, and I think it still turned out well. So check it out. Here's this year's round of automotive experts at NADA reading mean tweets. Jennifer Briggs looks like the kind of person who opens her mouth when her dog licks her face. <laughs> who said that? I'm not sure what makes Brent Weiss so dumb, but it's totally working. I hope everyone has a great NAD except you, April Simmons. You suck. You suck. Eliana Raggio is the kind of gal that gets to the gate at the airport 30 minutes early so she can be at the front of the group waiting to board, but she is boarding group eight. Listen, pal, I get there two hours early, not 30 minutes. But yeah, that might be true. <laughs> can someone please help get Gary May to speak at an automotive conference in Europe and then just leave him there. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, awesome. Another GA4 presentation from George Nenny. Time to go poop. Oh. <laughs> Want to know something cool about Eric Milch? Me neither. Micah Burkholz looks like he could spend two hours telling you about a 30-minute episode of anime. <laughs> I actually have watched too much anime. Owen Moon says, Joe Dallas seems like he cries after sex. <laughs> hmm. True. From Sean Rains, which... Obviously, given the fact that he wrote about rock and roll, I guess that's the genre. Joe Webb is the Nickelback of automotive. Uh, listen, a few old hits, uh, not as relevant anymore. That is sort of on par. With that said, I know Sean personally, and I know that he's really put in the work to know which colored crayon tastes best. So I don't always take... Everything he says with a grain of salt, I mean, uh, face value, but um, but uh, it's a decent one, Sean. Good for you. So I went to the NADA party at the Sphere, and I was totally blown away. That is still wasn't as big as Steve Ressler's head. <laughs> Actually, it probably is, but uh, that's all good. Yeah, you wish you had my head. Tina Quato looks like she actually likes to poop in porta potties. <laughs> hmm. I tweet something mean about Sean Bradley, but I'm worried his gangster friends would kill me. <laughs> Damn right. You better keep your mouth shut, boy. You know what it is? You don't want none? Won't be nothing. Keep my name at your mouth. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around to watch. It was hilarious, right? That's definitely all the time we've got left for this week's episode. So you know what that means. Put your hand on the screen right here. We totally just high-fived because you learned something awesome and laughed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week for another episode of Local Search Tuesdays.